front of the city hall. This, I think this is the city hall. It's a nice square here. The weather is very nice. Good day. First place I went in this Denmark, Copenhagen. Maybe wrong on this, but I think in Copenhagen there was first street that was closed for traffic and was open just for the pedestrians. And now we have this kind of streets in all big European cities, not only big ones, with lots of shops and they are very popular and always crowded. Those houses here are made of Lego in this store because Lego is originally from Denmark. So I'm sure we will see a lot of Lego shops around here. From what you can see clearly, you can have here vibes a little bit like in the Netherlands. There are a lot of bicycles and some canals. <laughs> by the channel called Nihav. I may be mispronouncing it, but this is like the most iconic part of Copenhagen. It's very beautiful, those buildings are just like on videos. Very happy I could get here.
just walking by this biggest, widest canal, I believe, in Copenhagen. And don't know if it's visible behind me, but there is a nice big space, but a bit far, where people can sunbathe, chill. Any place here that has some wooden deck or like some stairs by the water. People seem to be sunbathing. A lot of people are actually swimming here as well. So this looks really nice and looks like this. Danes really know how to use nice weather when it comes. Hope you will be able to hear me as this fountain is a little bit loud. I don't know anything about it yet, but it's super beautiful. I really like the concept with those bulls, with the lady on top, how water goes through it, with the natural stones at the bottom. Great fountain. And by beautiful building next to it, churchy looking. I think it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing. I like it a lot. One of the great places that I would say really worth to come. It's on the way to the statue of the Little Mermaid, I think. Where hopefully I go next. by the statue of the Little Mermaid, which is one of the must visit iconic parts in Copenhagen. This statue was made by the famous artist. It's pretty small, nothing that majestic, but it's nice that coming up to it, you go through very beautiful park area.
second day in Copenhagen. I'm having morning walk. I will have to work today, so I had just two hours to walk. So I walk one hour away from my hotel and now have to come back, work for eight hours and then I'll be back. But it's very beautiful. I revisited some places I've seen yesterday, took some new paths around them and did a couple of shots with camera and fly my drone twice today in places I didn't get to fly yesterday. So all good. Let's see what rest of the day will bring. Hopefully I will still see some new places after work in the afternoon and then I will still be here the day after tomorrow I will still be here for some time and then I will go to Malmo which is in Sweden but it's quite close from Copenhagen as Malmo is just on the border. So far Copenhagen has vibes somewhere between what I've seen in Sweden, Stockholm and what I've seen in like Belgium and Netherlands with the canals. Architecture is similar to it, like those bricked houses with painted into this dark blue, dark green colors, doors and stuff. So this is more like Netherlands or Belgium. But there are also big ships, bigger marinas and a little bit of more architectural style that I've seen around Stockholm. Definitely it's very pretty, very nice. I do highly recommend visiting. Also from what I gathered so far, there are a lot of bicycles. It's very common here. I guess people want to be not only like save money on the public transportation, but they also are more ecologically conscious and like caring about the environment with them. Similar here to the Swedish people and what I've seen in this Stockholm is that electric cars are very popular and not just hybrid but like full electric. There are a lot of Teslas around <laughs> and not only of course so you don't really hear that old school petrol engine that much. building behind me here is a city hall and here is a big square which is kind of the heart of the city where people meet gather up it's not the only place like that but it's definitely one of the very well known and a lot of people come here gather and of course it's a nice place to visit for tourists as well quite close from my hotel so I'm going back to it now it's one of the first places I've seen and probably I will pass it a couple more times still but every time it's very pretty
festival, which is directly behind me now, is very famous amusement park. It has some roller coasters, other attractions for people. It seems to be pretty nice, but just entering there, not any attractions, but just the entrance, cost 145 Danish Korons, which is quite a lot in my opinion, and I'm not that much into this kind of stuff. So I think I will probably just skip it this time. I think here is my hotel and on this side we have some very pretty place where we could have some walk. See a lot of people are running here. So it seems pretty nice. Time to go to work. <laughs> 